Hi, everyone. Since the beginning of me talking about virtual production, I've been mentioning the entrance people or nodal point of your camera lens a lot. Uh, that's because if you don't have it set up properly, you'll get slipping and sliding of your videos when the camera pans around due to parallax errors. So originally I gave you a couple of ways of measuring it that involved having the camera on a sliding mount and those were kind of tedious and tricky to do. So I found another way you can do it. It's maybe not quite as precise as using a fancy sliding mount, but it's something that you can do with basically just this one piece of equipment, a piece of paper. Uh, so you start out with a piece of paper like this, you draw a dot at one edge, and then you make lines that radiate out from that dot. And the only thing that's important here is that the lines all meet at that same point. Uh, they don't have to be a specific angle or anything. Uh, so once you've got that, you're pretty much ready to go. And you could uh, do this with uh, a printed something printed or an image of a protractor. I'll, uh, I'll post one uh, in the description of the video uh, if you want to try that. I'm just using a regular piece of paper because I don't have a printer at home that works right now. So the first thing you want to do is take your camera and line it up so that it's nice and square with some reference. You, I'm using this uh, uh, cutting mat because it has a nice grid on it. Uh, you might uh, want to use something else. You could just set a ruler down on the table or anything to give you a nice straight line reference. And I'm going to line this center line of the lens with the center line right here of this grid. Now, the other thing you might want to do in addition to having one of these is if your ha camera has a larger sized lens like this one, you may want to make one like this and then cut a chunk of it out so that it'll fit around the lens like this. And I'll explain why we do that in a minute. So the first thing is I'm going to show you the very basic part of this. Now with the camera lined up like that and this piece of paper set up so that the back edge is square with the camera, and you want to have your camera set up so that you can see through it. You could use the viewfinder for this, or you could send it to a monitor, or whatever works for you. Now, when everything is all lined up like this, you'll see the view through the camera down in the corner of the screen. And you can see that you can see these lines sort of radiating outwards. Now, as I push this closer and closer to the lens, you see those lines start to become more and more parallel. And there's a point where they're almost completely parallel, probably about here. And when you find that point, the back edge of the paper, that dot where all the lines meet, is right below the entrance people of your lens. Now, if you have a larger camera or a large lens, this one of mine is probably about three inches around, um, you're going to get some air because the piece of paper is so much lower than the center of the lens. But there's a way to fix that too. And that's what this other piece of paper was for. So get yourself a couple of books, just enough to prop this paper up so that it's about level with the center of the lens or slightly below it. And the cutout is to allow you to push the piece of paper around the lens. And now I can move this forward and forward and forward and forward. And right about here, you'll see that all the lines are parallel. And back here at the back, right about here is where my lens entrance people is. And that's pretty much the same place where I measured it using other techniques. If I move this paper too close, you notice the lines start to spread apart again. That gives you an idea that you've gone back too far. And that's pretty much the whole thing right there. Please let me know how this works out for you. Uh, the method may not be perfect, and uh, you know whether you get good results is going to depend on how careful you are doing it. It should give you a pretty good estimate of where the entrance people of your camera lens is, so that you can at least have a good starting point that you can adjust manually after you get your setup running. 
So please let me know how this works for you and if it works okay. Uh, I'm trying to come up with other ways of measuring entrance pupil that are a little bit more automatic, but I thought it would be good to show you this one because all it requires you to use is a piece of paper and pretty much everybody's got one of those. Uh, the other methods will probably require you to have an extra Vive tracker laying around, so they'll be a bit more complicated. Uh, I'll uh, have more on that later. Have a good time with this. See you next time.